Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. And today I want to try and answer a MIDI related question that I see come up a lot on various forums. When editing notes in MIDI, the default velocity is always set to 127. I want to set my default velocity to 100. Anybody know how to do this? All right, so let's get to it. And I just want to make a quick clarification. We don't really have like a default. So if I, for example, right now click to insert a note here, you can see that the velocity is 88, which seems kind of random. And I did not set this as my default anywhere. But yeah, if I keep inserting notes, they're all going to be 88 until I do something about it. Basically, when you insert notes using a mouse in Reaper, they take on the velocity value from whatever it was set to previously. And we have a few ways of changing this on the fly. So in case you didn't know, if I click on any of the keys on this piano roll right here to the left of my MIDI editor, that's one way of changing the velocity for incoming notes. And the closer I click to the left side, that will set the velocity to be softer. And the closer I am to the right side, it would be, to, whoa, that is loud. <laughs> Yeah, so the closer I am to the right side, it'll have a higher velocity and we played harder. But this value will remain the same while I click to make new notes in the piano roll until I come back here and change it once again, maybe click somewhere in the middle, and now we got 88 as the new value. So you may want to set this to an exact value, like 100. Well, that's a bit tricky to do using this first method because we don't really see the values. We just kind of have to eyeball it, right? But what I can do instead is to insert one note. And once we have that one note, we have a few ways to play with the velocity. So the default mouse modifier is option aka alt so hold that as you click and drag on the note you can also come down here to your cc lanes and if it's not showing velocity you can just click the drop down menu to open it and at the very top you have velocity and you will see a little like pin looking thing here for every midi note and you can also drag that to change the velocity to 100. however you get your first note to velocity of 100 you can then delete it and now every note i click to insert will be set to 100. whether i click to insert a new note or if i use my mouse modifier to paint notes and if you don't change it it'll just keep inputting notes at 100 so you can kind of think of it as your default being 100. But one step up from that would be a way to work with a bunch of different velocity values. Maybe you're writing drums and you have like hard hits and you have ghost notes. So there's a video by the Awesome Reaper blog on this topic and I'll link that in the description. He uses a few custom scripts I'll just I'll just let him explain it to you. It's not my personal preference because by the time I saw that tutorial, I was already used to the way I was doing it. So let me just show you how I go about doing that. So right now my velocity is still 100. So I can click and insert notes like this. The velocity will be 100. Then I have these four actions here. And by default, these don't have any shortcuts set to them, but I have set them on mine to G, Y, U, and I. So I can just take my left hand and place my fingers on these four keys like this. And now with my pinky and ring finger, I can bring the velocity down or up by 10. And then for finer control with my middle and index fingers, I can adjust the velocity of my selected notes by one. So I can click with the mouse to insert a note. And then let's make this one a bit softer. Let's take the next one and have it play harder. Make the next one just slightly more forte. And as you can see, each time I input a new note, that value is still set to 100. But at any point, if I want to then change the velocity of new notes from 100 to something else, I'll just have to click on that note one more time. Once I do that, the new velocity for new notes is now 80. So I can again insert notes and edit values from there using my hotkeys to be slightly more forte or piano, but new notes still get input at 80, our new value. And I just have fine control around that current kind of center value. And at any point I can fine adjust this to say 75. And again, I can click on that new velocity one more time. And now every new notes velocity will be 75. So I like this method because it's pretty quick and precise and it's very fluid. Like I can change the values at any time really quickly. So now I'm at 95. And this value will also be applied to all mouse modifiers. Or if I paint notes like this, which the default for that is command option and left drag, whatever method I use, it would keep the center value. I can use my hotkeys to adjust individual velocities and keep my center value for new notes or at any point, click on the note again and change my center value and I'm off to the races. If you find that these adjustment amounts are a bit too fine for you, we can always chain them together in custom actions and use those instead. So say plus and minus one is a bit too fine for your workflow. So I can just highlight one of them, come down here to new action and choose new custom action. Up top, let's call this note velocity minus five. Then from the right column here, I just search the name of the same action, drag it into the left column. In this case, let's chain together five of these. And I'll also consolidate undo points down here. So now this is registered as a single action instead of five separate ones. Hit OK. It shows up in the action list and you can set your hotkey to that. Rinse and repeat for the other ones. You can also chain two plus tens together to get plus 20, whatever works 
works for you. I'm personally good with these values. I can get to any value I want. So it takes a bit to get used to it, but it becomes second nature really quickly. You can also always write your notes and duration first and then just do velocity after. So let's right drag and erase all this stuff. I'll click on this one again to go back to a center value of 100. And I can just start writing my melodies, you know, duplicate these little passages with the hotkeys that I have and check the link above to see those actions in more detail. But yeah, I can just write my notes first and then we fix the velocities in post as it were, right? And the same hotkeys will work in that context too. I can, for example, right click on any note on the side here to select all the notes from that pitch. So let's right click to select all our C sharps. And I can just hit G twice to get them down to 80 on those. I can also right drag to select all these A's and G sharps. Maybe let's hit Y to make these slightly louder. Let's make these two higher notes a bit softer. And in fact, let's hit H. This one is a default and it opens the humanization menu. Let's keep the timing as is and change velocity by 25%. Finally, these highest notes, I can again select and hit Y twice to make them the loudest. I can also just, for example, select all of the first two measures and I can go down to the velocity lane and left drag to draw a ramp like this. I have set mine to command and then left drag instead. And you want to check out your own mouse modifiers and also see if there are any extra mouse modifiers that are unassigned that would, you know, fit your workflow. I've gone over all of these MIDI mouse modifiers in a past video. So again, link to that goes up there. So I can easily, as you can see, create crescendos and decrescendos. And finally, I can just right drag on the bottom here to select all the notes. And then I can just hover over one and adjust all these values together. And if you ever need to unify these values, just make them all the same. A quick and dirty method here is to select select and bring them all down. So now they're all one, but my finger is still on the left mouse button as I was dragging. So if I bring them back up, they still maintain their relative value to each other. But if I go to one end and then release my mouse and then drag again, now they're all the same value. And I can again, just click and adjust the value for all of them together to whatever I want. By the way, if you just select some of the notes, you can still apply the ramp and that will only apply to selected notes, preserving the velocity for unselected notes. So especially if the dynamic dynamics for my phrases are ramping. It's just much faster to do after writing them versus doing them on the fly. But yeah, once you get used to these hotkeys, it's super fast to do it as you go. So yeah, that be my two cents on velocity. I glossed over lots of stuff because I have covered MIDI editing in lots of detail in the past. So there will be a playlist link below that I highly recommend you check out, especially if you're new to my channel. But for now, let's just call it on this one. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like the work I do, you can support me through buymeacoffee.com or you can become a member of this channel all the info will be linked below. A huge thanks to our new members, Edward C and 31298. Also big thanks to Grichu, Andreas F, Felix S, Jim Dooley and Renegade Wave for your donations. I really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.